Hi and welcome to another video around the uh, Asus GTAX 11000 uh, router. Um, so this one I just wanted to go through the option that's in the, under general for traffic analyzer. Um, I haven't had really much of a need for it to be honest with you um, to see what the traffic is and everything else because I know what most items were happening. Um, and what their bandwidth was and lucky enough on my internet connection I have unlimited um, bandwidth as well so I don't have to worry too much about my upload and download um, but I wanted to try this out to have a look and one thing that actually um, I found was very useful is that I've got a lot of um, devices that like smart plugs and smart uh, power strips and things like that and using this as a tool to identify you know what devices are s sending out so you don't expect a smart plug to be sending out gigabytes of data daily or hundreds of megabytes perhaps a few megabytes um, where you're switching on and off using your uh, smart assistant and thing or the app and things like that um, and also you can help you identify if you've got any perhaps um, as we know some of the uh, plugs and then the smart plugs and the smart power strips that you have um, also uh, can be hacked because then not all the time as the uh, quite a few I've bought is non-brand ones like from Amazon that are from China um, that do the job and very good and very responsive but we know that the firmware and the software seems to be used across different brands and um, is not always the most secure so you just this one here can also tell you uh, what's happening and um, how it's actually connecting to the internet so as you can see here um, I've got this for setting this for the 27th of December uh, and this is the day of recording and it can show you the daily traffic so you can go display by clients apps and then you can show upload or download um, daily weekly monthly and then also you can have it in terabytes gigabytes and megabytes i just leave that as auto i've had this on for probably over a week well probably two weeks now and i found it quite useful because as i was saying before um, i noticed that one of my power strips um, was a generic chinese one i got from amazon actually was sending out over a gigabyte of information um, every few days um, and it was sending it uh, across and as you can see on this example down here like on my iPad you can see YouTube, Facebook, Amazon but also the HTT protocol over TLS SSL so it means that's a secure connection so it's sending information securely um, so that's a good sign but when I saw it, it was using like over a gigabyte um, in a few days and every few days as well um, so that consumed several terabyte, um, gigabytes just for a smart power strip. That made me very suspicious that there's something happening with that power strip. Um, so using this bandwidth uh, traffic analyzer actually uh, helped me identify that there's something obviously wrong with that. Either there's firmware um, or it's been hacked or something like that and you can keep an eye on it. Um, so I restarted it, tried it again. And I haven't plugged it in since because uh, there's obviously an issue with it. Um, and it's obviously sending some information back and it, it's got access to my Wi-Fi password and everything else. It was sending the information over the HTTP protocol um, over TLS SSL. So it was sending it securely, but I don't know where that data was going to um, and then what data it was. And it seems just an awful lot of data that PowerStrip was using. And if you've heard in the news, a lot of these cheaper um, IOT devices like smart plugs and and power strips and things like that that are probably not upgraded with firmware like you'll find with the TP link ones or major brand ones well actually if those have got a security issue they'll update a lot of the generic ones they won't bother um, so the so a lot of security updates will come out but the, the firmware will just stay there for years and not change so that can cause an issue with the security on a network so I've unplugged it and I've just now replaced it with a uh, a TP-Link um, power strip. and But as I said, this is a quite a good tool that you can actually see 
what devices. So you, if you go to all clients and you can click on that and then it will give you a drop down of all your um, devices um, that you have on the network. Uh, as you see my Skybox and then the um, Chromecast and then and everything else. So you can you can identify which ones and everything else. And also it gives you a top five here of like uh, my iPhone and Nest Doorbell. So as you can see the Nest Doorbell sends over uh, so locks it's streaming all the time and uh, my desktop computer um, and then again back to my iPad you can see and it breaks it down by YouTube so you can see um, you know watching a lot of YouTube videos and Amazon and things like that so you can see here on the top five clients um, and you can identify if there's any of your devices if you go to all clients one again the drop down and to see which clients of yours if it acts in suspicion of course you expect a doorbell or um, your Roku or your Fire TV stick or anything um, that's streaming. You expect to do a lot of data, but from if you identify a plug or something that's uh, a bit strange. So as you can see, um, if you do, you can use this tool as a identify anything that's um, out of the ordinary um, from your devices, and you can keep a good security check. I have noticed as well, um, using it for two weeks or so, there's been no major impact on the performance of the router throughput and copying files from one computer to another and my internet speeds and gaming I have not noticed it and I've kept an eye um, on the CPU as well on see how it's coping and then the memory it's using and it's never gone over about 70-80% so it's fine and that's with this here uh, again there's other options up here like I, in my previous video you can go over later on but I just wanted to give you an example of here what, how I use this statistics um, menu under the traffic analyzer identifying for security just for your reassurance of your uh, network to make sure nothing peculiar was going on and things like that how you can use this tool and how it doesn't really affect anything else and i just left this on the others are switched off i don't really need to know but this one was really good for me to help identify the devices that perhaps were behaving unusually on my network and i can see it straight away with the graph and then the data here I hope this has been useful and as usual if you have any questions uh, leave them in the comments and uh, I'll try and answer them. Alright thanks for watching and have a good day. Thank you bye.